my name's Ross and I'm uh, one of the keepers at Edinburgh Zoo that look after the chimpanzees. And I've got uh, some questions that some of you have sent in from Facebook and Instagram to ask about the chimpanzees, so I'm going to answer them for you now. Melissa, you asked how old Miss Indy is, and actually she's just over three months old now. She was born on the 3rd of February this year, so she's literally just over three months old. Quite a lot of you asked um, how Lou was getting on with his new sister, and he's getting on really well with um, Miss Indy. He was at a stage now, he's nearly six years old, that he was spending less and less time with his mum anyway. But when he does spend time with her, he's really gentle with the baby, and he still enjoys having a little bit of a wrestle with his mum pretty much every day. So he, they're getting on really, really well. Natalie, you asked if Helene needed to learn how to be maternal, um, and how she is now that she's got two youngsters in the group, and does she still look after Valu, our firstborn? Um, and actually, Helene did need a little bit of help when Valu was first born about how to be a mum and, and how to look after him. And that is actually fairly normal in chimps when they have when they first start having babies. They don't always naturally know how to be uh, parents, and so sometimes it can take a little while. And it did with Helene. We had to help her out a little bit when Valu was born. Uh, but now that she's had a second baby, um, and it's not that long since obviously she had Valu, everything was absolutely fine this time round. Um, she was looking after him really, really uh, looking after Miss Indy really, really well. We didn't have to intervene at all. It came much more naturally to her. So it's just ex life experience, and obviously the more time she has youngsters, and um, the more the better she gets out. A little bit like people as well. So lots of you have also asked if our chimpanzees are missing the visitors with us being closed. Um, and the answer to that is yes and no. Some of our chimpanzees, I think Blue especially, being the youngest, he's very curious, he loves watching people and he loves interacting especially with young children. I think probably he's missing that interaction a little bit. I think some of the other chimpanzees are taking it in their stride. I think the first week we were closed, um, it was obviously quite a dramatic change from being open one week to being closed. I think they noticed that difference and they maybe reacting a little bit differently, but now I think they've settled into a new routine, a little bit like we all have. And they just adapt really well to different situations, so they've taken it in their stride. Laura, you asked about the different areas inside the pod, so you've obviously been to the zoo and seen the chimpanzee enclosure here. And the, there's three different, what we call pods, so three different indoor areas. And yes, they're designed to all have different sort of levels of lighting within them. So the one at the back is the darkest, the one in the middle is sort of the next darkest, and the one in the corner with the big windows is the lightest. And it was designed specifically that way to sort of imitate um, the levels of rainforest where the chimps would live in the wild. So obviously right at the top of the canopy it's very light, the middle it's getting a little bit darker and right down the forest floor it's pretty dark. So it was designed to imitate that because the majority of the time the chimps probably spend is on the ground um, but obviously they are in the trees as well. So it's to give them a choice over what areas they prefer and we find the the different areas that they prefer it varies on the time of day. So at night time, um, in the evening, they probably do prefer to be in the darker areas. It's probably a little bit more cosy, but during the day, especially on a nice sunny day, they prefer to be in the pod that's got the big windows and it's lighter. Duncan and Alexander, you asked about um, if the chimps make a new nest every night for their bed and if they sleep in preferred areas. And actually they do, uh, like as you said, wild chimpanzees do this and pretty much our chimps do as well. Uh, we provide them with a lot of nesting material. They get eucalyptus leaves, they get blankets, carbon boxes and they choose whatever they want to make a nest out of and make a nest at night. They do tend to use the same areas of the enclosure, they have their preferred spots so some of them will sleep in one pod, some will sleep in another, some will be in the tunnels or the bed area which is an offshore area. So they tend to have their preferred areas but it sometimes changes if somebody else beat them to that spot, if that's the preferred spot they'll just sleep somewhere else. Um, so it is quite similar to what chimps do in the wild as well and they will make a new nest every night. The question about what their favourite food is and whether they eat that in the wild, well, I think that probably their favourite food here in the zoo is actually porridge. It's just porridge we make with oats, just like we would have ourselves, so just made with water. And they absolutely love that, um, but that obviously isn't something that they get in the wild, so they can't eat that in the wild. And so probably their next favourite food is banana, which uh, um, is a, another favourite. And uh, technically, I think banana does grow in Africa now, but it's a reintroduced plant in that it wasn't... Um, native to Africa, so people grow it there in plantations uh, like they do in other parts of the world. So although chimps in uh, different sanctuaries in Africa can probably eat banana, the wild chimps wouldn't necessarily find banana, so that's not a food they would find in the wild either. So probably their favourite foods are things they wouldn't find in the wild out in Africa. So Jasmine, you asked if the chimps can swim, that's a really good question because uh, here at Bedongo Pool we actually have a, a, a moat at the bottom of our outdoor enclosure and um, so you can see the chimps and not have to look through mesh or, or glass. 
And, and actually the answer to that is basically no, um, and that's why we can use a moat as a form of a barrier. Chimpanzees can't swim. Sometimes in the wild you actually wade into water, maybe for food or to cool down. We don't find our chimps do at all. Uh, they obviously have a little stream in their enclosure as well, which they'll pick food out of, but they don't actually wade into, they don't seem to like touching the water. And question about what the most human thing that the chimpanzees do, um, there's actually quite a few things, but probably I think the most human thing is one of our chimps in particular, Cassie, um, <laughs> that noise as well might be one of the most human things to do as well but Cassie when he's annoyed at us if um, we throw a piece of food to him and accidentally hits him or he's annoyed at us for another reason we go like that and it's like he's telling us to get away <laughs> I think that's quite human, it's like being told off by your parents. And they also have some pretty disgusting habits as well, um, like picking their nose and a little bit of farting as well. 